Hello, 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 beautiful strangers, and welcome back to another episode of You and Me and Her. When last we left off, we were at the precipice. We were on the verge of, of entering a bookstore, or not a bookstore, a cat store. And, well, we're entering it. We've entered. But what will be inside, I wonder? Well, I, I did promise that there would be a choice, and there will be, in a, in a while. This episode, for sure, I don't think this scene's that long. Um, but it will be a choice. It'll be a fun little choice, because, well, it's a fun little choice. But, uh, well, there's other things in here as well. And if you just take a moment to look around, look, there's cat plushies, and there's cat toys, and, well, I'm not going to go over what everything is. Anyway, let's get back into it, shall we? Doo-doo. Amazing. As soon as we step inside, how we mix a beeline to the shelves. Sure enough, it turns out catnip is stocked to the gills with all sorts of cat-themed items. The plushies, the figurines, the clock on the wall, the lights on the ceiling, even the tile floor. Nothing but cats as far as the eye can see. The bell that jingled over our heads as we walked in probably came from a cat collar or something. He really went all out in here. I'm so happy. Hey, Miyuki, you doing okay? I think I'm a little lightheaded. I'm not sure I can take it. Whoa there, calm down. Since when have you been this cat crazy? I can't help it. They're just adorable. Miyuki's adorable too. Agreed. These days, I'm used to her seeing her in Queen Bee mode all the time. But this is closer to the Miyuki I used to know. Got it. What's up? How's this? Whoa. Aoi pops out from behind the dressing room curtain wearing a kitty onesie. Dang, girl, that looks perfect on you. What do you think, Miyuki? Miyuki? Sorry, you're overloading my brain right now. With what? Hey, cut it out. Don't look at me like that. Doo -doo. Uh, just like that, Cat Aoi lands the finishing blow. Does it hurt? Aoi will help you. Oh god, I'm dying. No dying allowed. Pull yourself together, Miyuki. I'm dead. Miyuki's body pitches sideways. Miyuki? Oh shit. And she collapses, taking a shelf out with her. She went out with a smile, I guess. So sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. How are we sorry too? Note, she's still wearing the kitty onesie. I I told you that outfit is dangerous. And now we won't buy it. You have to. Huh? But don't worry about me. Just buy it. Looks like Miyuki digs the onesie after all. Really? Totally. Okay then, now we will buy it. With that, she speeds over to the register. Good grief, you're a total cat fanatic, aren't you? I mean, her email address was literally MewCats, so, you know. Hmm? What's the matter, Miyuki? Look. Miyuki points to a cat-shaped hairpin on display near the window. Apparently, it's a one-of-a-kind handmade item. Next to it is a second, slightly different pin in the same style. It's so cute. Miyuki gazes at it completely besotted. I can see why, too. It's definitely got that classic handmade look to it, and the artist really nailed its expression. As for the price, it's doable if I dip into my monthly food budget. Why don't I buy it for you? What? Consider it a token of my thanks, you know, for helping with Aoi and stuff. But no, I can't. I can't accept that, I mean. 
you're going to have me make it up to you back at the batting cages before you changed your mind, remember? So technically, I owe you. But I mean, I appreciate the thought, but it wouldn't even look that good on me. You sure about that? At school, Miyuki is the picture of sophistication. This cutesy cat pin would almost certainly clash with that. Still, her actions speak volumes. If you like it, then what's the harm? I need a drink. And that sort of thing would look better on Aoi, so... Are you being Sundere? Always. Well, no, always, not always. Shinichi is always being Sundere. Miyuki is being more... Well, Sundere mostly, and just unsure about feelings other times, I guess. The occasional, uh, the occasional kudere kind of slips out as well. Occasional, but not strong. And I actually, I wouldn't classify Miyuki as kudere in any, really, any real way. Just, just the, the occasional slip here and there. But that's m mostly my own bias. <laughs> anyway, Aoi returns from the register just in time to back me up. In that case, how about this? I'll have Shinichi buy it and give it to you. No way, that makes no sense. So, it's what I want to do. Fine, fine. I doubt the sales clerk appreciates us standing here bickering. We've already caused enough trouble by knocking that shelf over. Yeah, you're no shit. You two wait outside for me, alright? I swing by the shelf, then make a beeline straight to the register. After the clerk wraps up my purchase for me, I leave the store. Two long shadows glide over the pavement as Miyuki and Aoi walk up to me. Shinichi, you know what to do, yes? Shinichi, please? Their eyes sear into mine. Smiling, I pull a neatly wrapped, wrapped parcel out of my pocket. Ooh, a choice. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, we're going to see both of those eventually, just not right now. We're only going to see one of those. And, well, which one is that, you might be wondering? Or, if you know what bad end I'm going for, no already? Oops, oops, I just dropped a sticky note pad onto my microphone. Anyway, I'm an idiot. I apologize for the loudness. Uh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, and now very distracted. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, right, 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 right. We're only choosing one of these options, and, well, it should be obvious if you know what bad end I'm going for. Actually, that's not true. Because uh, all three of the bad ends for this, for this, the first section of bad ends I'm going for, I'll have the same option here. Um, but we'll see it eventually. Don't you worry. Ah, <sighs> Let's just let it linger for a moment. Who should we give it to? Who, who, who? Who should it be? Well... We're going to give it to Miyuki. Here, this is for you. I hand Miyuki her gift. And now, this is for you. She immediately hands it off to Aoi. And now, it's time for the second gift. I pull out a second package containing the other hairpin. My god, you didn't... Did you glitch your moveset? You bought both of them? I'm so lucky they had two. And you're so lucky you actually had money. Matching hairpins for you and your bestie. You'll take it, won't you? Please, Miyuki? Ah. Miyuki sighs in defeat. Shinichi, you just spent your entire food budget, didn't you? Was it that obvious? Starting tomorrow, I'll make lunches for the both of us. That should tide you over for a while. For real? Lifesaver. Made with Miyuki's love. Ah, shut up. God. Shinichi. Hmm? What do you think? Do do. Shinichi. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, looks great. Totally. 
You're so nice. Thank you. Aoi's shy smile is unbelievably adorable. I quickly avert my gaze and seek back up. Right, Miyuki? Miyuki? Right, what was the question? Aoi's captivated you too, I take it. Sorry, I was distracted. I have a candle lit in the background. Oh, I guess behind me, technically, not in the background. Blah. Uh, and I was just kind of looking over at it to see how, how it's doing, because it's a new candle, uh, and the wick is much longer than it should be. I should have trimmed it a little bit more. Or I should have trimmed it a little bit. I didn't trim it at all. Anyway. Anyway, it's getting pretty dark out. Yeah, we'd better head home. This is goodbye, then. Oh, right. Come to think of it, the manga cafe is right over there. Wait, why'd you take your hairpin off? Saving it for special moments. Special in what way? Moments that mean a lot to me. Till then, it'll stay in my pocket for safekeeping. I'm honestly flattered she would want to take such good care of my gift. Bye-bye. Thanks for today. See you tomorrow. Got it. What's up? This is your big chance to confess your love. Uh, both shock response. All at once, she catches both of us completely off guard. Oh, we quit screwing around. Wait, what the? Where'd she go? I look around, but it's like she vanished into thin air. Ah, what an oddball. I always hated that. No, I'm not going to steal somebody other people's joke. Many comedians jokes about thin air. Ah, what an oddball. Miyuki? Huh? Oh, right. Sorry. What? Apparently, Miyuki wasn't listening. Side by side, we walk down by the river, crickets chirping in the distance. I can't even remember the last time we walked home together. I know I should play it cool, but I can't help feeling a little self-conscious. Say something, anything. In my panic, my mind goes utterly blank. My head is swimming with Aoi's parting words. This is your big chance to confess your love. Then, the distant crack of a baseball bat breaks the silence. I remember all those nights we shared, walking home from the batting cages. Feels like an eternity ago. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Four years, three months, and eleven days, to be exact. Jesus. What? It's written in my diary. That's how I know. Oh. Gotcha. That's still a bit odd that she has that, you know, memorized down to the, you know, day. Memorizing the years, amount of years, and maybe even to a... Well, even to the month, I would say it's not that unusual, especially if you keep a diary. Year is not at all unusual. I mean, none of the month isn't that uncommon, but still not common... Remembering down to the exact day is, well, <laughs> I don't think that's as common, but I could be wrong. If you know stuff like that, then please tell me. I I, I wish my memory was that good. Um, but man, uh, yeah, no. At least she's not um, <laughs> saying it down to, oh, it's been, what did she say, 11 months, uh, or four years, three months, 11, and 11 days. At least she didn't add on to that, uh, 13 hours, 12 minutes, and 32 seconds, or anything like that. That'd be weird. Anyway, Miyuki's always had an eye for little details like that ever since we were kids. I should keep a journal. I like writing. I should write more. No. Fuzzy childhood memories float through my mind. I'm glad we're friends again. Miyuki mutters like she's trying on the concept for the first time. All thanks to how we... And, oh, and you too, obviously. I'm glad we did this, actually. We made a lot of new discoveries. Like what? Like, um, the top of the roof. Oh, right. Yeah, for sure. I still can't believe something like that was right under our, my nose the whole time. Something so very beautiful. What? Huh? 
I suddenly find myself looking at Miyuki. Oh, uh, it's nothing. <sighs> okay. Miyuki's expression sours all of a sudden. Listen, Shinichi. How do you feel about Aoi? Huh? Where did that come from? I find it a little strange that you try so hard to help someone else. So I started thinking, maybe, you know. Hmm. Would that come as a little bit strange to her? Because, she, and from what we've gathered from what Shinichi has said, and I think from what Miyuki has implied, er, said and implied as well, um, the, he helped her quite a bit, but yeah, whatever. You know, I started thinking maybe, you know, Miyuki's tone is perfectly casual. Are you interested in her? What? No, no. But you obviously did something to make her cry. I told you that was all a misunderstanding. It's hard to explain. I want to be friends with her, but more than that... Protect her? Yeah, that. Exactly. Somehow, she knows exactly what I was trying to say. She's always sitting by herself, staring into space, waiting for a call from God or whoever, not a single friend to her name. Her family situation is a total mystery, and she's living in a manga cafe. If I don't keep an eye on her, I know I'll give myself an ulcer worrying about her. About that, I've been thinking. This isn't some video game, this is real, and she's a real person. I want to help her come to terms with her reality. And I think that's the best thing we can do for her. When Miyuki was a kid, she was a loner too. She was every bit as pretty and talented as she is now, but she didn't have a solid grasp of social etiquette. For example, any time someone would point out one of her flaws, she would work hard to correct it. But instead of stopping there, she would go out of her way to show off the fruits of her efforts and humiliate the person who pointed it out in the first place. A precocious little brat, in other words. But I think maybe Miyuki agreed to help because she sees her old self in Aoi. What was it that helped you back then? What do you mean? I mean, at some point you started fitting in with the rest of the class, right? That was all you, da? What? You're the one who helped me, genius. You nominated me for the lead role in that play, remember? I did? Oh, that's right, I remember now. I knew it, you totally forgot. Back then, our class decided to put on a play for the school arts festival, but nobody wanted to take on the lead role. So, I randomly nominated Miyuki for it. At the time, I figured even if she sucked at first, she'd work ten times as hard to knock all of our socks off in the end. The moment I got up on that stage, I knew. The play was my reality, and real life was my fiction. Putting myself in that frame of mind helped me stop getting so worked up over the small details. And that's what helped you get along with the rest of the class? I really know how to play the part, don't you think? I suppose so, yeah. You're the only one who sees to it anyway. She mutters sulkily. Well, see ya. Uh, hey, uh... Hmm? What's up? Listen, um... About the... Thing I was going to ask you to help me with. The thing you mentioned back at the batting cages? Yeah, that. I seem to recall she was really hesitant to talk about it. Can you... Promise not to tell anyone? Sure. So, uh, you know how I'm playing the lead? Y yeah, and? Well, um, you see... There's going to be... a kiss. Instantly, my mind goes blank. In the play, I mean, there's a kissing scene, and... Shinichi, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Sounds intense. Good luck with that. 
my first time. What? Like I said, I haven't had my first kiss yet. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, uh, no surprise there. I, I mean, you're, you're pretty, but like almost too pretty, you know? And as far as I know, you've never really had a boyfriend. So, yeah, that explains a lot. Yeah, that explains that, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see how that would be the case. Yeah. And the spaghetti fell out of my pocket. Yeah, that, is that the moment? Are, are you c cool with it, or... I don't know. But it's the climax of the place, so... I'm worried I might screw it up. Why not ask the other person to help you practice? I can't bring myself to do it. Told him I'm just going to wing it during the performance. Ah. So, um, well, uh, I'll just have to do my best. Well, uh, I'm rooting for you, I guess. Thanks. Her voice is little more than a whisper. Well, see you. Have a good night. Miyuki's speedy footsteps fade into the dusk. As for me, I stand rooted to the spot until long after she's gone. God, you're a dork. <laughs> uh, well, I can't say I would have done much better in that sort of situation. Uh, you know, self-esteem is a thing and all. Back in elementary school, that play changed Miyuki's whole life, and I was the one who nominated her for that role. For some reason, they decided I should play the role of her boyfriend. In elementary school? That's kind of weird for a subject matter for an elementary school play. You know, whatever. Miyuki was a little stiff at first, but she improved dramatically over time. Actually, no, that's not a little weird for an elementary school play, I don't think. That's actually pretty weird. From what I remember, at least for me, I was middle school was like six to ten, no five to ten, something like that. Four to five to nine, five to ten. Let me think. Uh, six? No, it would be. Uh, six, I think it was ten years. Oh, I think it was six to ten. I think. Uh, I don't remember. But anyway, that that's that's a kind of. Oh, well, whatever. Miyuki was a little stiff at first, but sure enough, she improved dramatically over time. On stage, she had so much sparkle, she was practically blinding. Somehow, it really felt like we were together. Hell, it felt like we were the only two people in the whole world. But once the curtains closed, the magic would fade. It was just a role in a play. She was just... extremely convincing, that's all. Me, though? I completely lost my composure. My acting was a train wreck, nowhere near on par with hers. Then, during the performance, I flubbed my lines. Everyone laughed. It was only thanks to Miyuki's ad-libbing that we made it to curtain call without further incident. At last, the spell was broken. The next thing I knew, Miyuki was the star of the class, and I'm still just a nobody. She doesn't need me anymore. Her talents are taking her somewhere I can't follow. I would just drag her down. We're just friends. That ought to be enough for me. And yet... There's going to be... a kiss. There's voice acting there. Interesting. So that means I'm interested in that and so how certain scenes are going to play out, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, because... So if it's a sound effect... It's going to play the voice track. That's interesting. That is good to know. I'm curious on how that's going to be a thing later on. Miyuki's words, her lips, are burned into my brain. Ah, no self-esteem. How I know thee well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Shinichi's still some dense motherfucker. Uh, what is he? A neutron star. Um, but still, he's... <laughs> oh, dear God. But he's... Uh, it's 
it's understandable. I, I get it. I fully get it. Uh, I, I'm distracted now by what's going on in that background. Oh, man. I think I'm going to end the episode here. And, well, I think we're going to have an interesting conversation with uh, with Yutaro here. That's, that's going to be fun. But that is for next time. And I hope to see you all there.